anything you can think of somebody has already you know has made it available for us seen here i am very impressed by such a med what do you call information which is directly available for us if you remember the very very early drawings i showed you invariably had things from here you see here very carefully if you see there are three or four uh, you know variants of it there is a bottom there is a top the bottom most shows how it is put together and then i do not know whether it's a matching plate and uh, you try to now you can build your own equipment directly on this all you need to do is try to understand these things only problem is they are not as inexpensive and easily available as we think as we would want to so we have uh, most of us know now slowly things are becoming wearable anything you want biomedical energy harvesting and something to track your movement you want it is it not the more you more you think about it so we have uh, absolutely you seen this no anything you want is probably already somebody has thought about it ah interesting life wish it was there when i was like uh, this thing no right now it's very very easy for you to try to configure make any of these things as you want and you see here very important thing is it continues to by ip 65 ip 66 and not mentioned explicitly a lot of them are made with materials that are compatible with the body body compatible so if you are to wear it it's unlikely uh, that you will get hurt so they are friendly with uh, skin friendly and uh, various other things and you see it is very much rounded and so on well at one uh, level it what can be simple industrial instrumentation these all have come here to us now we need not look far anything you want something related to wearable enclosures and all the way up to fully industrial is available Hmm. I am a fan of this so-called wired enclosures. Wish we had this. Well, that is very common place. What is not very common place is this. Uh, you have seen this. It is a. some remote control you see at the back this seems to be part of a a bed meant for hospital equipment only if you are ever admitted in a hospital or if you have gone and visited uh, friends or relatives who have been in a hospital you will discover that the environment has changed and so is the a requirement of safety and shock proofness in all those places even the simplest bed is powered you do not have levers somebody you can you know press uh, up and down or you need to crank up levers instead of cranking we have various types of remote control so well a wireless remote looks good a lot of times it's not 
as convenient as simple or uh, you know a best solution you can think of because the ultimate what if the remote loses power and what if you uh, what do you call if it gets spoiled and what if you drop it all this can be taken over if you have all that you need is a wired remote you have a beautiful wired remote here and because it is a general purpose thing they are just trying to show the a uh, overlay panel in which uh, you would like to make things more and more visible here you have seen this. So, probably it is just that the next level I am not yet ready for uh, function keys and a menu operated and so on, but let us say if you are a trained technician and or if you are a doctor who have no choice to but to train yourself probably you will use it ah, as we are coming here you see many 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 more things are ready. We already have a box whatever you are thinking about now where two USB socket equivalents are already mounted there. So, it is for you to go about trying to use this as much as possible and now you have a full fledged piggyback or daisy chain riding type of things. Hmm? This if you think carefully about what we saw the other place no? probably it is something uh, remote which needs to operate something and then the red generally refers to an emergency stop ok. So, you think it we already have it as seen here at the bottom most no they have given here safety engineering medical and therapeutic measuring and control technology. So, we think of medical as generally only that is there in a hospital slowly several of the things are coming home. You need not go all the way to a hospital or you may go to a smaller primary health clinic where you are asked to build these things. Simplest thing I can think of is a simple blood pressure monitor cheapest ones uh, cost I expect uh, around 50 dollars a good one costs about 200 to 300 dollars and the magic thing is they are absolutely repeatable safe in the unlikely case of something spilling on it nothing will happen. So, I am quite happy to have uh, taken you through these uh, very complicated things. So, you have seen here anything like you know a table, tape, a table top cases handheld cases with the highest uh, things and all that no. All that is waiting for you is for your design so that you can incorporate all these things in your designs only as a sample they have put this I do not even know what it is they just put some magnetic electric something and you know low high and you can use it probably in some suspect natural medicine including you know you give an electric uh, impulse here and you get better and quite different from snake oil, but not proven very well. But once you try this probably there are enough people will probably buy your equipment and we have a very large demand for grooming and people who would like to do things to their uh, I do not know various uh, body including you no know, hair removers and uh, maybe what removers and something which will examine your skin and uh, you know do this for all these things already things are available and people are ready to pay a premium for these products unlike generic products these things which are used for grooming starting from a maybe a beard trimmer maybe eventually an electric nail clipper and uh, something which will uh, polish uh, I do not know whether somebody has come out with it I expect that in due course something which applies and removes nail polish or attaches artificial nail art 
we have enclosures ready for it it is for you to make things for that. If you see here most of the time we have this names like PMMA, P PMMA is nothing but polymethylacrylate which is variant some of us know it as uh, plexiglass that is Roman has has that and then ICI, ICI I think he calls it um, some other uh, name no? uh, which is there with it. Now, you see inside already it comes with things which are built inside compared to some of the now very low cost uh, things which are likely to buy for a few hundred rupees for a couple of dollars these things are engineered perfectly well one is material compatibility so they are unlikely to rust and then even if you examine the the way that cover seem to sit on the battery case it ensures that there are lipping which provides for proper grip and then you see this it definitely is ergonomic there are no sharp edges nothing is likely to hurt you and then a bit of design has been built into it. So, you have uh, I do not know something it is showing uh, 13.8 and 93 and 69 and so on it is just a simulation you have them. So, next time when you attempt to make anything I suggest you have a look at all these catalogs. So, you will appreciate somebody has been doing a lot of homework around these parts that you require. Now, I will go to something which is slowly getting nearer and nearer to what is allowed in or easier to and what we have used are the things that come from Taiwan then uh, Korea, China and Japan and uh, these things even now in the so called western world also probably they are all sourced from here. So, over here in India invariably we go with these things which are easily available for us. So, two of them I would like to touch upon are these you see this beautiful enclosures which have all the features like the other ones plus they also come with flanges such that they can be mounted easily and more than anything else application data for a packaging engineer this application data is very very critical for us every small detail saying what comes on top and what comes here and then if you were to make any detail to occupy this space you see here I see that I have a place of 87 mm. So, something which is 87 mm or maybe 85 mm wide by around say 80 mm can be put like this alternatively I can have something which is say this small thing we can have otherwise if I notch off this corners I can have a PCB which it is nicely inside somewhere there are also grooves in the walls I can see that things can go and sit in the grooves in the walls and then all sorts of provisions of mounting the full drawings are available to us. So, I like this again I am not endorsing any one particular manufacturer, but I see that the easy availability of this information and then uh, your uh, chances of you will be able to deal directly and then make your products ready for the market is something which is very very positive. I somehow I am now suddenly with the what I call it the new economy where this data is easily available. So, 
all of them come with that star saying they are copyright. So, we cannot randomly go and start uh, copying these things. However, this is application note and then uh, you can always uh, what do you call depend on these suppliers for you to make wherever you want to do. So, this is again one of my favorites which I have uh, used elsewhere earlier. So, I would like to show you this uh, small enclosure. Ah, see here makes life extremely easy and convenient for me here. So, I have here a, a place for a keypad which is approximately 8 mm by 8 mm keypad. Then I have a place here for a small window. If it is an LED, it can be probably a transparent window or in some very rare cases special windows are available. And then the back, there is enough place for us to put a 40 character 2 line general purpose display or a full completely accessible pixels type of a display and such things can even be used for uh, building uh, anything. If you are one of the students who needs to who enjoys making this, this is the place and then you see here I have even a more beautiful enclosure which appears to be easy for me easy to hold in one of the very earlier lectures. So, I showed you how to how you would hold it how the width of it has been controlled how the width of it has been controlled and in this case you have a display which is slightly wider than the your uh, grip. So, you have already a standard enclosure for it and if you can lay your hands or even order them online you are already in business. If you are one of those new startups who would like to demonstrate your capability of designing something, you can probably become a enclosure design person. So, let us say you are uh, other people can come to you, you can uh, have all this under the total turnaround cycle for the first design becomes easy. Anything you want you can just look up on the enclosures here and eventually even if it is a very very complicated design you can have it all ready seen this. I cannot imagine a more informative. So, it could be anything let us say you wanted to monitor energy usage in the house saying how long a particular uh, air conditioning has been running or how warm or how cool it feels and then you would like to make an equipment you just need to lay your hands on one of these enclosures put all the necessary sensors electronics everything and then the best part of it is all of them come with necessary hardware which will make sure that input and output connections and all through various types of grommets, various types of what do you call uh, gland nuts all these accessories are easily available with us. So, if you click on this accessory for enclosures you will notice that anything you can think of by way of hinges by way of clamps and this is one of my what I will say favorites 
which uh, often engineers are uh, what do you call students and engineers are likely to miss. So, you know very interesting if you see a little closer at this drawing. Hey, it has something there is a nut like thing here, then there is something here, then there is a watcher here and there is something else here. The whole thing is about it is an opening to take wires in and out of your enclosure. So, you will see that uh, while part of the environment is very comfortable and uh, very nice to see, part of it is not that easily known because once it is installed and its place nobody touches it everything is fine. But the first time something is opened and try to put it back you will notice that it will lead to some amount of failure, some amount of what do you call um, missing out on a few of the hardware and so on. But if you are look at a place like this uh, a gland nut a cable gland any size you can think of is already available for you. And then all the necessary hardware including how to pack the gland, what are the cable sizes that go inside and occasionally a special type of a, a sealing compound. It is not just RTV something which is also lubricates and then it also packs it swells and stays in place are all available. So, even if a small thing like in your house you would like to keep an outdoor light garden lights and uh, switches for the garden lights maybe a foot switch you will notice that is interesting. If you want to do you can uh, depend on all these things and then the way they have been designed if you follow the original sequence of assembly sequence of disassembly and follow all the design and installation guidelines they are designed for life things work you will never have any problem relating to this. So, I am one of the fans of all this hardware which goes with sealed enclosures. You must, you must, must learn to see. So, you see here what looked simple there is actually a little complicated. There was a ferrule like thing. So, as you turn this nut that ferrule closes and then if there is a packing inside it will go and grip the anything what you keep inside it could be another tube it could be a silicon uh, sleeve and inside that you can have your cables and it is practically watertight. So, one of them is this like this we have wall mounting brackets and then very really 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 interesting I am sure you must have been looking for it all the time. Hey, I wish I had this my hobby I would have converted it into a product. Looks very innocuous very simple a holder for two cells. But then the advantage of it is it is reliable and then you have mounting holes and then you also have connectors or if you want you can have wires what the doctor ordered it is a compounder. The doctor used to give generic medicines and the compounder would mix each of them and make it and make it into a something which is you know safe for you. You cannot buy anything off the no need to buy anything off this there is nothing ethical or unethical about it. So, we have here exactly what the doctor ordered whatever you want is already available you have seen that no this is for 2 AA batteries. So, you have things which ferment for uh, anything you can think of and then you have seen this we have a beautiful handles for these enclosures. So, if you have an idea it is very easy for you if you follow any of these uh, what do you call uh, enclosure systems very quickly you can convert it into a product. So, allow me to end this lecture here and see what uh, you will be able to take next year.
I am sorry in the <laughs> next session. So, thank you. My suggestion is go back th to this uh, lecture and then somewhere I have shown you the text file which shows you what are all the manufacturers have been making these things. Have a look at is a text file. So, this text file shows you anything you can think of here. Just go back through this file and uh, it is just picked up randomly uh, depending on you know what my connection could give and then I have gone through in uh, try to go along with you in detail because I have been going with this uh, since almost the time um, net and these things are ready. I suggest you go through any of this and in case you have access you can uh, give a search on uh, using any of the search engines go through all the details and then if you can uh, leave them in a digital uh, form it will be useful for you. Next is find out your local supplier and then uh, before you start your design before you start your design you should start with one of these available enclosure to see typically the aspect ratio what is the size and you will end up with a minimum of 2 uh, to a maximum of 3 iterations before your product can be made. One of them can be instead of making an absolutely brand new what do you call uh, circuit which is uh, not very reliable you can probably end up with automatically start laying it up on a in a PCB package because that old way of uh, stringing resistors and capacitors and all that well I would not call it obsolete it is too time consuming and I am sure you are in that stage of uh, your design uh, profession by which you do not need to do breadboarding anymore. If you to do breadboarding for important circuit it is ok, but then these days you can automatically lay out the circuit directly on a computer screen. So, if you want to do it that first layout will give you only you can have a simple schematic capture and then you can have the interconnections that is called the rat's nest. Then after that when you do the actual layout of the PCB and so on if you also match it with that PDF drawings which I have shown you because once you have completed that uh, breadboarding stage once you have a small circuit that is working you have some estimate of what are the very large components where the you cannot violate the footprint and what are all the smaller components which uh, you can afford to place them. If you have the outline which is taken from one of the earlier PDF drawings and you can input it, if you can convert it into a DX of or IGS or DW standards most of the layout packages accept it. Instead of starting with a 3 by 4 or 16 by 9 rectangle on the, on the screen and then wondering what to do, you can probably start with one of these enclosures and then try to put them all put the mounting holes and important thing is input output where do you mount your power supply and all this now information is available here you can directly use one of them. So, probably in the first iteration itself you will have a equipment which is almost about ready to work you can henceforth start concentrating on the functionality of it saying how does it work with uh, respect to temperature, how does it work with respect to EMC and the second round most likely it can go off into production and at that point you have multiple manufacturers who can start with your whatever the first this thing you have started and otherwise if you have taken it from the catalog from one of the existing manufacturers you can probably negotiate with them and then you are in business and doing good for the society and as somebody said while well, you know a lot of money has gone into making ads 
people would like to have a way by which you cannot switch off the TV when the ad is running. I am still waiting for a device which can selectively show me the ads which I want and selectively mute the ads which I do not want. I know I fortunately you know I work without sponsorship. So, as such it is there. So, thanks a lot. Bye, have a nice time until we meet again. I suggest this is probably one of the most important lectures in this series. I want you to again go back, go back to the text file, try to go through each of the that information I have shown and I will see at least one or two of them can be converted into cases which you can uh, take advantage of. So, bye. Thank you.